All right, everyone, let's take a look at the brand new Conquer Kui Source, the first legendary of this year. Very crazy. We're almost at the end of the year. And this is our first legendary. It's still cool, we've got it though. But it is a hybrid of Concavenator and Fukui Source. And then it fuses with Tenontosaurus to make Concasaurus. But we'll look at that in an upcoming video. But here are its moves. You can look at them now. But we will go through them in battle. So let's not dwell on that for too long. And let's instead just get straight into a battle. So this guy, oh, it is a legendary. So don't expect the best out of it. I would say it's other version you know the fukui mimus the other creature that fukui source creates is probably better in terms of if you want to use it in the tournaments and stuff but you know conquer kui source still serves its purpose in the fact that it fuses to make concast source but then again concast source isn't overly great it might be good for a raid creature though it's just raids aren't massive in the game ever since uh you know Tyrannicurry has probably been maxed out by most people and that's the only meta relevant creature anymore from raids so you know at least with the new apex enhancements however we probably will see the need for apex dna more now so you know i could see it playing a part in there but yes so let's have a look at conquer kui so i um, I can't remember, but I do know it has a technically new animation. At least it's new from this year. It's the Torah animation that takes forever. I don't think it was a fan favorite animation. It was like, this animation takes too long and there's not much happening in it. But yeah, basically stomps on the ground, has Torah's animation. And I can't remember if it's Kui Source that does it or if it's Konkasaurus. Now in this, you can see what I'm saying. It's not overly the best as it's about to die here. But what we'll do is we'll go into a new match and just check that out, right? Here's the new match. You're probably like, what was that transition? You just swapped out Konkui Source for Konkui Source? No, don't worry. This is a new match. You can see they're using Magna Pirate and not Dilo Kairos anymore. So we're going to try and see how far through the match we can get. We've used, started with it halfway through the match so we can see it's swap in animation, although it's not a real swap in animation. It's more just the bring in animation. Uh, but yeah, the only real thing it has, the special things, is a counter, really. There's no on escape or swap in for Conquer Kui Source, which makes sense. It is just a legendary, after all. It doesn't have to be amazing, because it goes and makes a hybrid anyway. But I think this update really kind of just proved that legendary rarity and anything below is kind of useless to Ludia now. They're more just, you know, used to create the uniques and apexes and then Omegas because, well, Omegas, obviously, they're making money, but they're a separate factor. Uniques and Apexes are what I'm, would be making money now simply due to Apex enhancements and Unique enhancements, and they're higher level, level up because of that. And we know that the legendary Conquer Kui Source goes into the u new Unique Concatosaurus, which does have enhancements, obviously. So it's more, you know... Conquer Kui Source is more of a catalyst to create the bigger picture, I guess, which that being uh, Concatosaurus. So, yeah, I do feel if they add commons, rares, epics, and legendaries from now on in the future, they're most likely just going to be dropped with the hybrid alongside them. Like, you know, all the new creatures that were getting released when we were still getting epics. So, when we got the Palmino Scorpius, Tsunga Scorpius was released immediately. Same with Comsoraptor, which was made from Beta, you know. So, really, I do think that's the best way they're making money. Because, and you've got to think, after they added Catalyst to the game, right? What goes to make Catalyst? That would be Commons, Rares, Epics, and Legendaries. So, it's really just... Th those are the only purpose for those guys right now, which is to fuse into catalysts to make enhancements. Or I guess, you know, you could fuse them for DNA, but still, their grand new purpose, now that I assume most of us have the DNA to level up most things, is that we need commons, rares, epics, and legendaries for the catalysts. So... I can understand why we've barely gotten any, but it is nice. We have gotten a new legendary now, even if it's not the best. And maybe this might remind people why we haven't gotten many legendaries and below. Because, you know, Omegas, they're going to do good in BVP and tournaments now. And they're, you know, they're, they're the substitutes for commons, rares, and epics. 
And then legendaries, well, we've already got hybrids being those of uniques and apexes, so there was no real need for them. They're really only used now for the catalyst, as I've been saying. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> I've kind of lost my track here. But yeah, that's basically why they're only useful for catalyst now, and th that's the reason why we're probably barely going to get any in the future but maybe we will because i do know a lot of people have been like when when a new rare is coming we were promised new ones at the start of the year right a new common and rare and oh actually i shouldn't say this because this is an official video not a demo video but we do know some creatures were probably meant to come just based on the statement ludia made saying we will be getting new commons and rares at the start of 2023 but then they're like hang on this new Omega thing, we can make some mega bucks off this, you know, or compared to commons and rares, because think about, the only way commons and rares are really making any money for them is if they go and make a, a unique hybrid or an apex hybrid. Because I remember when they did add Die Wolf, right? That was good because that went and made Indo Lycan, or not good for me, but good for Ludia and Jam City. Because then I was like, oh, this Apex is taking forever to create. I'm just going to buy the pass because I can get wolf DNA from that. And so that's how they got their DNA. They made the wolf exclusive and you had to pay for most of the stuff. But, you know, then it was in events later on and stuff. So I pretty much got to level 30. I just wanted to get to level 26. That's all I paid for. But then getting it to level 30, I did that legit. Wait, did I? no, I didn't get to level 30. I got Anoceonix to level 30, which is basically the same thing but better which also includes die wolf dna so there is that and i probably do have enough dna to get into like it's level 30 and with apex enhancements it might be worth it problem is uh i'm not sure of the cost just yet uh because i'm using the bay bill we don't know the cost yet uh but when the update drops we will know the cost however i feel if it's anything similar to uniques I will not be getting uh, Indolycan's Reactive. But Indolycan's Reactive is so good, it might become a meta creature if people manage to get it. Because Indolycan's main problem is it can't break shields. But this enhancement it has is Reactive, if the opponent has shields, those shields will break immediately, pretty much. So it's a really good move for Indolycan to have. And I feel that move alone might make it meta. The problem is it's just so hard to get an enhancement tier 5 for any of your uniques unless you pay so much money in this game because think about my max enhanced creature is constrictor raptor tier 2 the rest are all tier 1s so i'm nowhere close to tier 5 basically it's going to take a long grind but yeah that's that this is konkuisaurus hope you enjoyed the gameplay of it uh did you enjoy it make sure like comment and subscribe let me know what you think comments below and i'll see you later bye everyone